Hey everyone, it's Lucas, back again with another product review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Dymo Label Manager. It's supposed to be a very easy to use, handheld label manager. You can power it with the AAA batteries that are not included, or you can do what I did. I bought the 6.6 .6 feet power adapter that plugs into it. It prints on the D1 tape, which is right here. You can get many different kinds. I just got a couple of the black on white. It's half an inch thick by 23 feet long. And now we're going to get inside and see how it works. Okay, so now, just a little sticker underneath. Opens up like that. There we have the label printer. It comes with a starter. That one's only 10 feet. And then it comes with just your quick start guide, and then your usual manual. Has a little sticker thing on top. Right here, you can either power it with the six AAAs, or in our case, we're just gonna take the power adapter This is all sold by Amazon. I got a pack that came with this, and this already comes with it, but this came with a 23 foot long one for only like 20 bucks. So we're gonna take this and plug it in. It has a little blue LED that comes on to let you know there's power. And we're gonna plug it in at the top. And now, you just pop it open like that. Just a little clip there. And we're going to insert the 23 foot long one. Just click it right in. Moves a little bit to try and get it going. Close it right up. Has a neat little window here that tells you what you're printing. This is the black on white. So now we'll flip it back over. And we're going to Turn it on. You can select what size you want to print. So this is going to be half inch. So we'll click OK. Now you can type whatever you want. We'll just type test. And then you click the print button right here. When it comes out right here, you click this little cut button. There's our little test sticker. Then on the back, it's split right down the center, so you just peel, bend it in half, and peel right off. There's one half, there's the other half, and now you can stick it to whatever you want. Okay, so now, we can show all the different things you can do. So I'll just type in test again. You can change your font size right down there. Eight, 10, 12, 16, 20, and 24 is the biggest. You can put it in bold, italicize, a regular underline, there's a box, there's a box with arrows on either end, rounded box, sort of like a ticket type of look. And you can also push this one, it'll make it go sideways. So now if we print it, cut it, it's going straight up and down, and it's test bolded, and italicized in the little ticket format. Same thing right in the center. Stick it right down. There's also, if you put it back to that, if you click menu, and then there's all these symbols that you can use to add style, dollar signs, at signs, you can also add clip art, 
there's all different things. So if you're putting it on something that you're labeling that's gonna be fragile, you can click the little fragile button. You can, there's an apostrophe. There's all these different little symbols that you can put in. And then all you have to do is type it in and push the print button. And there you go. Really fun little graphics that you can add. We'll peel the backing off. Now there's many different uses you could use this for. You don't have to be a professional using this for something professional. For example, I bought this so I can label my school binders and different stuff like that. But also we have here, this is for all of our filming equipment and stuff. So what you can do is I can type in for this, this is the battery to go on the back of our GoPro. I can just put in battery, put it in bold and print it. Peel off the tape. Now I can easily identify which one is which because we have one that looks exactly the same. This one's empty, but this one is where we put our LCD screen in. Same thing. You can use the space button. LCD screen. Now those are easily labeled, now we can tell the difference between. Sometimes it does have a little bit of issues sticking around corners, but now we can just stick that right back in. You could also do is taking every single one of your things out of what you're labeling, which is what we'll be doing, and then underneath you can label each one. So if you're, for example, doing something like this and you're taking things on the go, you can look right in and check your labels and make sure everything that you took with you is actually there. It's a quick, easy, simple labeling. And it's an all in all, it's a really nice label maker. I really like it. I wish it did come with the power adapter. The power adapter we did have to pay an extra $9.99 for on Amazon. Um, the tape itself is about $15. You can get it at Walmart. We bought some with it through Amazon. But all in all, I'd say it's a really good product and I would recommend it for labeling anything that you would like. It sticks to pretty much every single surface. I mean, we have fabric here, we had plastic there, it sticks to metal, it sticks to tape, it'll stick to pretty much anything. Thank you everybody for watching. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please leave your different product review ideas in the comment section down below, as well as different science experiment ideas you would like us to try here. Here we also did test how long you can make it. This is the longest tape that you can print out. So check out our other product reviews or science experiments. Links for them will be in the description below. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Links for those will also be in the description below.